Good morning. A retired accountant with no criminal history has carried out America's deadliest mass shooting. In just 15 minutes, Stephen Paddock killed 59 people and wounded 527 from a high-rise Las Vegas hotel. The victims were at an outdoor music festival, oblivious to the danger above them. Our U.S. correspondent Ashley Mullaney was staying at the same hotel as the gunman and witnessed events unfolding. As she joins us now live, Ash, the hotel is still a crime scene. Well, Anne, the hotel has reopened to guests, but Stephen Paddock's room on the 32nd floor definitely remains a crime scene tonight. So too are his two homes where police remain tonight as they try to piece together a motive for this massacre. <laughs> A packed crowd enjoying a country music festival on a warm Vegas night. Until this. Automatic gunfire that goes on and on. Country and Western singer Jason Aldean eventually stops singing. And the crowd falls silent. There's confusion and uncertainty. Some realise something is wrong. Many think it's fireworks, part of the concert. Then the gunman fires again. There is no doubt this time. Another gun nightmare in the United States. A man shooting from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. The 22,000 concert goers below had nowhere to hide. People crouch on the ground. Those who run trip over bodies of the fallen. Holy f this girl just got shot in the head. Many risk their own lives to try to move the wounded. Crowd barricades become stretches. I was sitting out here on the sidewalk, and all of a sudden there was a, I thought fireworks, and then I saw a window come out and glass shatter everywhere, and then two or three more windows came out, and then an open machine gun fire out that direction. We heard what we thought were fireworks and it looked like smoke from Mandalay Bay and then we he kept performing and then we heard it again and they cut the music and everyone said drop and everyone dropped and then everyone just got up and they said run and everyone started stampeding and charging. We kind of panicked. The lady standing in front of me grabbed her side and she said, oh my God, I've been shot and she removed her hand and blood went everywhere. Um, at that moment, we heard more shooting, so we all dropped to the ground. We all climbed on top of each other. Police closed the famous Las Vegas Strip as SWAT teams descended on the hotel. Australian Brian Hodge was staying in the room next to the gunman. Uh, it's a weird thing to say, but it, it sounded like it was out of a movie. Like, I've just, you know, when you hear gunshots, it's, um, you know, I've never really experienced it before, only ever really heard it in the movie, but it was just constant. It was you know, a good like 100 rounds and then there was like a five second break and then it was like another 100 rounds that just kept going and going and going and it was so loud and just, um, yeah, very, very scary. I kind of just pushed everybody into the elevator and just said, all right, everybody, let's get out, let's get out. And I got my staff and we went straight under bushes in trees. Everybody kind of was dispersing everywhere, but because I, you know, realized that the guy was up high, I was like, we need to be against the building and we need to hide and, and wait. And, and we did. We waited for three and a half hours. This is the man responsible for America's worst shooting massacre, 64-year-old Nevada local Stephen Paddock. We have an active shooter. We have an active shooter inside. An agent radios in from outside the locked hotel room. Been sent on the suspect's door. I need everybody in that hallway to be aware of it and get back. The SWAT team makes its move, detonating explosives to force the door. Breach, breach, breach. <laughs> Zebra 20 has one suspect down inside the room. The former accountant had shot himself. Police find at least 10 high-powered rifles in the room. Outside, the footpath has become a temporary field hospital, the scale of the attack becoming clear. He brutally murdered more than 50 people and wounded hundreds more. President Trump today condemning the attack and preaching unity. It was an act of pure evil. In moments of tragedy and horror, America comes together as one. 
and it always has. The investigation is now turning to the gunman's past, where police have discovered links to the Gold Coast. It's where the shooter's partner, Mary Lou Danley, used to live. She had initially been named as a person of interest, but is now not believed to have been involved. We have located her out of the country. Um, she was not with him when he checked in. Paddock used some of her ID to check into the hotel last week, where he spent three days looking out from the 32nd floor, plotting and planning this horrific act. In Las Vegas, Ashley Mullaney, 7 News.